Clem! Clem! Where are you? Over here! I found the algae! Oh, it's stuck! I can't budge it! Don't worry. I have some rope. If we tie it around the rock with the algae, we can pull it free. That's brilliant! Just have to make a knot. Well, hurry it up, partner. It's real cold down here. Ooh. Okay. I finished tying the knot and... There! Oh. Oh. I never was too good at tying knots. Me neither. But I know someone who is. Periwinkle! Hi, Mum. Why are you in the dark? Oh, you know, just doing some deep diving with your Uncle Shellington. And Clem. Cool. Periwinkle, could you show us how to make that knot you learned to tie? The bowline knot. That's the one. Sure. I've been practicing. You make a loop here, then you put the end through and wrap it around like this. Look, Mum, it worked. Oh, Periwinkle, I'm so proud of you. Now try yours. All right. Uh, through the loop and around. Uh, oh, Perry, it worked. Oh, thanks. No problem. Bye-bye, Mum. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. We did it! Oh, now, let's get this back to the others. Good idea, but which way do we go? Uh, I think I came out from there. Hmm. Wrong way, dead end. I'm not sure how much longer Clem can last down here. It's too cold. To tell the truth, I'm so cold I can't even f f feel my fins. Shillington, are you all right? Did you find Pearl and Clem? I found them and the algae, but no, we can't find our way out. It's like a maze down here. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe I can show you the way. It's so dark down here, I can't see a thing. Wait, I can see that. Whatever incarnation that is. Dash is camera light and the opto lift. <laughs> Just in time. Put the algae rock in and follow the light back up. Thanks, Dashie. What's that noise? Mm, we've got some sand in the gears, but so far so good. This water that we're bringing to the animals will help. But what we really need is some rain to fill up that water hole. Let's check the storm tracker. Good idea, Dashie. Maybe there's some rain headed our way. I guess that storm that crashed the octopod at sea didn't make it to the desert. Nope, nothing. I'll keep an eye on the storm tracker. Things can change fast. Looks like the water hole is just ahead. A good thing too, because the cup egg sounds like it's about to give out, Cap. If you're looking for water, you're out of luck. There's none to be found here. Not even a little bit to dip your beacon. Don't worry, we brought some water for you. Well, in that case, it's nice to meet you. We made it! Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Sure are thirsty. We haven't had any water in days. Well, we've got more than enough water for a few little birdies. Your water worries are over. Uh oh, drink up, fellas, because here come the elephants. Elephants? Elephants. Are we there yet? Almost, little one. I can't wait. This is my first time at the watering hole. I'm going to take a big drink of water and then I'm going to splash around and wash off all this sand and then I'm going to cool up in the mud 
and then I'm... Why are we stopping here? I don't see any water. Mabel! Honey! It's so good to see you again. These are my new friends, the Octonauts. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Any friend of Pani's is a friend of mine. Mabel and I go way back. I'm so thirsty. Hold on. Give me a moment. What's she doing? Elephants from the desert can smell water that's hidden underground and then dig for it with their trunks. That's a nifty trick. Oh dear. This area is completely dry. I don't smell any water hidden under the ground at all. Well, thanks to Pani, we've brought you some water. But I'm afraid there's only enough for everyone to have one drink. That's better than nothing. Form a line, everyone. And only half a trunkful per elephant, please. So there's enough to go around. The Octo Watch signal's getting stronger. Pete should be close. <laughs> There he is! Try and get help! Try and get help! Now I know we're on another planet! A planet of huge umbrella monsters! I think they're just trees, Quasi. Unusual looking, but still trees. Grandad, it's the red ooze! Get it off before it melts your paw! <laughs> oh, it's just tree sap, Quasi. Oh, I've never seen red tree sap before. Ugh, what are you doing? A pirate never knows when something might come in handy. Uh, Grandad, run! What? It's just a dragon's blood tree. Who said that? An alien? <laughs> it's just a small lizard. Who are you calling lizard? I'm a chameleon, and I'm trying to hide from a vulture. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be missing an egg by any chance? Why, yes, that vulture stole it from our clutch, didn't he, dear? Oh, yes. Thank you so much for returning it. Shiver me whiskers. You chameleons can change colour and hide anywhere. More often we change colour because of how we're feeling, or if we get hot or cold. So we can tell a lot about one another just by looking. Ah! Oh. Huh? Those guys again. I better get out of here. Well, take a look at that. Invisible aliens guarding sparkly moon rocks. Not invisible aliens, Quasi. But maybe it's something that could help us get off this island. I found the Guff R, but no one's aboard. How's Pete doing? Better. But he still can't tell us how to find Quasi and Calico Jack. Uh, Quasi and Calico Jack? Ha! Ah, the Octowatch might give us a clue. What is that? Looks like an Egyptian vulture. It must have accidentally triggered the Octowatch to record. Ha! Ah, that's a bottle tree. There's only one place in the world where bottle trees can be found. Socotra. It's an island in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Africa. It's so isolated that one third of the unusual plants and animals on Socotra can't be found anywhere else in the world. It's a mysterious island. Ah, uh, Mystery Island? Dashi, set course for Mystery Island. Setting a course for Socotra now. <laughs> Treasure chest ahoy! <laughs> What's left of it anyway? The falling rock smashed the top right off the chest. Good thing they didn't smash me old ship's log. I wrote down some of my early adventures in this book. But this, this is the real treasure. Shiver me whiskers. Are those me whiskers? Hi, ha <laughs> ha. From when you were just a wee little kitten. Looks like we saved this precious treasure just in the nick of time. My kitten whiskers are treasure. Treasure doesn't always have to be gold or jewels, Quasi. It just has to be something important here. And treasures like these need to be buried somewhere safer than these tiny islands. It'll still need to be in the sand, though. 
Tis the pirate way. Looks to me like there'll be lots of beaches over here in North Africa. Here we are, Grandad. This will be the perfect spot for your treasure. Mm, don't think so, Quasi. That tide could take this beach underwater too. Best be looking further away from these waves. How about here, Grandad? Mm, further. Here? Further. Here? This is it. The perfect spot to bury me treasure. Funny place for a beach, though. This is no beach, Grandad. This is a desert. A really big desert. Ugh. And after all that walking, I don't have the energy to bury treasure. <sighs> Agreed, Quasi. Let's rest. We'll bury the treasure in the morning. <sighs> And look, I'm picking up high levels of methane gas. What does that mean? There are large pockets of methane gas trapped here in the frozen ground. Now that the ground is defrosting, the gas is released. And methane gas can be rather... Explosive! Indeed. We should get somewhere safe. <laughs> I do not want to be there the next time that methane gas goes. Oh, don't worry, Peso. We're on solid ground now. No! Oh, no! Oh, 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 it's so cold! No, oh. oh, a cold dip doesn't hurt me. Or me. But I must admit that these currents are making it hard to get to the riverbank. Look out! Oh! Professor! Oh no! I'm afraid they're trapped by the ice. And that water's too cold for me to go in after them. But it's not too cold for me. I'll go. Here, take my paw warmer. You can use it to melt the ice. And get them out faster. Got it. Thanks, Dashi. Yeah! I'm afraid there's no way out. Don't worry. I'll make a way out. I just have to melt the ice. Excellent. Oh, no. This ice is thick. It could take a while before it melts enough to get you out. Oh, how long is a while? I'm going to need air eventually. Hmm. If we had something we could use to break through this ice as it melts, that might speed things up. How about this, Professor? Ah, yes! Harness sampling pole! Ah. Come on! You can do it! The ice is melting! Now, let's get you out of here! There they are! And they have my sampling pole! Is everyone okay? Oh, much better now. Dashi, your pool woman really helped. And Pani, your sampling pole was a big help too. Sasha spotted it. And then you used it to break the ice. But I still managed to get a dirt sample. <laughs> Here you go, Pani. Thank you, thank you. Also, glad to see you both safe. Thank you for all your help, Sasha. Sorry for disturbing your hibernation. Are you kidding? If I were still hibernating, I would have missed all this excitement. But I'm really hungry now. I haven't eaten in months. Then I suggest that we all sample some hot cocoa and kelp cakes aboard the Octoray. Oh, <laughs> that's my kind of research. Sounds like a plan. Agreed. Careful now. Could be a mermaid. Or a sea monsters. Pale cream. I'd say these eggs belong to a harlequin duck. And as sure as eggs is eggs, a mother duck wouldn't let her nest just float away. We need to find her. A vast matey. Don't want you getting lost in all this fog. Let's take a buddy with you. I'll go. All right, then. We'll find the mum. And I'll stay here and look after her nest. Hush, little eggies, don't you crack. You say there's a life rough with calico, Jack. Your friend, uh, shiny, delicate, and pale as uh, snow. Oh, mm. you say? 
According to my bird book, harlequin ducks are usually found near pounding surf. Check. And rocky shores. I'd say we're in the right place, but not safe from coastal erosion. Good point. Let me see. Coastal erosion, landslides. Whoa! Oh! 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 If you put your book down, matey, you'll see there's coastal erosion right in front of you. Good idea. Wait for me! Sleep, little chicky, soon you walk. Then you'll fly and your beaks will... Ah! Yes, Pete, that's the line, but not so loud. We don't want them to hatch just yet. <laughs> Ahoy there! Now, if Tracker were here, he'd know what kind of bird you are. A raven. Ah, of course you are. Ah! Oh, you have eggs. Just watch it over them for someone. You're a bird. How would you take care of a nest full of eggs? Oh, I have lots of ideas. Now, because of its colorful feathers, the harlequin duck has lots of other names. It's sometimes known as the painted duck, the totem duck, the glacier duck. You got your nose in that book again? Nope. I've got it all up here. Well, I've been around the world and I know what a duck looks like. There's our mother duck. Morning. Uh, now, not to worry, but we found your nest and it's perfectly safe. So, uh, if you'd like to follow me, madam. Who are you calling madam? She's got a deep voice. Uh, that's a male. See his colorful feathers? No, what we're looking for is a lot more brown and a lot more like her. Morning, madam. You are a madam, aren't you? Uh, yes. Just checking. Are you missing a nest of eggs? Yes! Yes! Voice shell barrier complete. And not a moment too soon. I just hope we can last until Dashie and Pearl get back here. What do you mean, matey? Look at it. It's rock solid. Maybe solid enough for that wave, but they keep getting bigger. Octonauts, race the barrier! I hope Gashi gets here soon! What in the world is happening? The storm we were trying to warn you about! It's finally hit, matey! Oh dear, we hate storms! Always have, have always will! will. in the rocks. Okay, Peso. But be careful. <laughs> oh no. This looks like a dead end. Don't think I can move this rock. Wow! I'm stronger than I thought. Oh, I suppose it was you who moved that rock, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hi, So, you're here. And this must be Kato. I'm Peso, and I'm here to help. Now hold still. There. Is that better? Yes. 
I think I can stand now. That's one problem solved, but we still need to find a way out. Gemma and I could scout for another exit. But hey, where's Gemma? I'll use my wonder cam to search the caves. We'll find Gemma, I promise. Come on, Gemma. Where are you? Oh, found her! Huh? Gemma, are you okay? Oh, hello. I'm fine. I hoped I would find the way out for everyone and prove what a good leader I could be. But I did not. <laughs> Maybe you did. Mmm, these air currents smell fresh. Must be coming from outside. The air's coming from that way. Oi! There's an opening. And I hear rushing water outside. Hey, Gemma. Looks like you found a way out after all. Assuming we can widen it. Leave that to us. This should be much easier than trying to dig through the cave-in. Elephants, form a trunk brigade. You're leading us back to the cave, but we'll be trapped. Don't worry, I have a plan. <laughs> I've got a joke for you now. What has four ears, two tails, an eye patch, and a sock puppet? Oh, dinner! What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Who cares? Run! I think that. Did the trick, Captain. Let's get out of here. There must be an easier meal out there somewhere. You need to stop Ernesto. There's a fungus in this stream that could make him sick. We'd better keep an eye out for Ernesto before he gets too close to the stream. Already after him. Hello. Oh, have you spotted Ernesto? No, this is a call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I've got this. Ernesto, please stop! It's too dangerous! Don't you mean delicious? Do not worry, Bunny! Trout only eat frogs' eggs! I are much too big to fit in their mouth! <gasps> but not too big to fit into that coral snake's mouth! Uh -oh. Vamoose! What a frog! Now there is a rare delicacy! <laughs> No, oh, that's disappointing. Perhaps this fish biscuit will make up for that. Mmm, tasty. Gracias, Bunny. Now you will take me to my new family. I'm afraid the water in your cousin's stream will only make you sick, mi amigo. But I have waited so long to meet them. I know, but don't worry. They're not going anywhere. I've got you. So sorry to drop in, Dashi. Are those my... Mis primos! Mis amigos! Amazing rescue. Is everyone all right? We are fine, Senor Peso. I only wish we were not separated from our new cousin. I have waited ten years not to be alone. What is a few more days? Splashing news, my friends. Your stream is clean and free of fungus. And so are the water frogs. <laughs> Does that mean? It's time to welcome your new family into their new home. It is a very nice home, Ernesto. It is even nicer with company. Amazing. They never even knew each other existed before. And now it's like they've known each other all their lives. Kind of like when I met you guys. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> oh, we're glad we found you too, honey. 
barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.